Many thanks to Job, DZ Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. The most explosive update in DZ history has just been released, and there are a mountain of tips to go along with it. Having a light attachment on your weapon on your back will now point it forwards like a head torch does. Because it's not easy to switch these lights off, you can go prone to hide them if needed. If you accidentally chug some gasoline or eat some rotten or burned food, you can stuff your stomach to vomit and it will cure the chemical poisoning that may come in one minute. Gas canisters that are not empty will now explode inflicting 60 shock damage to players. The new gas grenade can poison players through walls with the nade spawning in dynamic gas zones and the gas round spawning in static gas zones. Nearly all surfaces break open and release the gas of the nade version but if you drop it due to unconsciousness it won't break. Avoiding these gas nades is easy if you move to higher ground or 10 meters in any direction. If a vehicle is in neutral it will remain in the turned on position when you get out but if you leave it in gear it will stall and turn off. While standing and jogging backwards each step you take is one meter allowing you to fine tune the rangefinder to the meter. Dynamic trains now spawn and will spawn infected nearby too. They contain great looting opportunities and always spawn with closed doors. Loot can be found on the front of the train which is where you'll need to be to gain access to the roof to find even more loot. Cooking with a sharpened stick now reduces the nutritional value of the food by around 10 to 20% depending on the food used. The sharpened stick will now cause bleeding when used on players but the spear will do over 60% more damage per hit. All military areas are now marked with red writing on the in-game map. You can now disarm the three new explosives that require arming with the detonator, with the detonator, screwdriver, lockpick, pliers or a non-crafted knife. However, disarming with the detonator allows you to not ruin any component and reuse the explosive. You can now pick up disarmed landmines which means you can reuse these landmines using the screwdriver or the lockpick. You can now mine rocks with the screwdriver and get a small stone which can then be used on the same rock to get a stone knife. You can now cut up animals and players with the screwdriver and then use a bone on a rock to get a bone knife too. Two of the new plastic explosives can destroy any wall in DZ but two inside of an IED cannot. Combining these two items will craft you the IED which can be activated by the detonator or by alarm disappearing once triggered. The new detonator can activate explosives up to 100 meters away which is the exact same distance the tripwire can. Claymore mines were added and have a 90 degree damage cone in front of them that can kill up to 25 meters away. This means when raiding a base place it slightly further back to hit both of the balls with this cone of damage taking six to completely destroy a wall. However all players within four meters will get KO'd so be careful of this and this includes the kit form of the claymore. The new M79 grenade launcher will kill everything within 12 meters with its explosive rounds so be very careful for not to embarrass yourself. The explosive and gas rounds do a very large amount of damage if you directly hit your target, ruining gear very quickly. Both the explosive and gas round can penetrate thin surfaces, but the smoke round cannot and does no damage to players or AI. You can no longer shoot through this house or these Hesco barriers, but this door cannot be shot through still. The Russian and American grenade will now require 12 grenades instead of 5 to destroy a wall in Daisy. Bonus tap! If you're going to save a damsel in distress in Daisy, be very careful of where the sun is positioned. There's a lot more to cover in this patch, so watching this video is highly recommended to fully understand what has actually changed in 1.18, or you can watch all of my videos with this Daisy 1.18 playlist. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck in this patch.